Let's take a look at how to find the population of standard deviation on a TI-30XS calculator. Specifically, we're going to find the population of standard deviation of the following data. So I'm going to go to my, my data button. I want to clean out these numbers, even though these are the same numbers we're going to re-enter. I press delete to clean out each individual number. Or you can, if you want to do it real fast, you can press your data, and then you can uh, do an enter on clear one, or clear all one. And I'll clean it out very fast. Okay, so I'm going to type in each number, uh, pressing enter after each one. So I got 13, enter, 19, enter, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter, 51, enter, and 53, enter. I would recommend using your arrow keys to go up and verify those numbers uh, in a, your course. Make sure you don't didn't type one of them in wrong. And then do a second mode exit out once you're done. Okay, now we're going to go into the stat menu. So we'll do second data, access stat. And we want to choose one of our stats because we've got a single list of numbers. So I'll press enter on it. And we put our data in L1, so that's highlighted. If you put in L2, you want to right arrow over and press enter on L2. Frequency is always 1, and I'll choose Calculate. Okay, now I'm going to down arrow to number 4. See how there's an arrow here? That indicates there's more down below. Now number 4 it looks like O with a flip with an X. That's lowercase sigma. That's population standard deviation. So our population standard deviation rounded to two decimal places would be 14.24. And that would be our answer. In this video, we took a look at how to find the population standard deviation on a TI-30XS calculator.